Now to that CBS News exclusive new evidence of a link between two 9-11 hijackers and a man said to be on Saudi Arabia's intelligence agency payroll. We see them together in new re newly released video turned over to family members of 9-11 victims last month, along with more than 14,000 pages of documents. The evidence obtained from British authorities raises new questions actually renews an old one. Did the Saudi government assist the hijackers on 9-11? The Saudis have always denied that explosive question. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge has the story. Less than two weeks after 9-11, these boxes of evidence containing personal notes and videos were seized by British police in Birmingham, England. <laughs> Buried inside this home video from 2000, now being seen publicly for the first time. The event is described by the 9 11 Commission as a party at the San Diego apartment of two hijackers. While Nawaf al Hazmi and Khalid al Midar avoided the camera, Midar can be seen here in the kitchen. Their team would later commandeer Flight 77, slamming it into the Pentagon. The party's host, a Saudi national, Omar al Bayoumi, who British police arrested after 9 11, and from whom they seized the videos and documents. Three years after the attack, the 9-11 Commission said there was no credible evidence that Bayoumi believed in violent extremism or knowingly aided extremist groups. Though a newly declassified FBI memo from 2017 reports Bayoumi was on the payroll of Saudi intelligence, a fact that was not confirmed at the time of the 9-11 Commission report. I call him a facilitator because he helped them out. Last fall, CBS News sat down with retired FBI agents Danny Gonzalez and Ken Williams, who investigated the hijacker support network. Both now work for the 9-11 families. He helped them with apartments. He helped them with bank accounts. He was also an employee of the government of Saudi Arabia. Among the records, a notepad containing a handwritten drawing of a plane and mathematical equation that an expert said in a court filing could be used to calculate the rate of descent to a target. Bayoumi is believed to be living in Saudi Arabia. We've tried to reach him through the Saudi embassy. It did not respond to our questions. But said in a statement last year, any allegation that Saudi Arabia is complicit in the September 11th attacks is categorically false. The FBI declined to comment for our reporting, Gail. Yeah, raising some very troubling questions there. Thank you, Catherine.